I suppose this is one of those self-reflection videos. Uh, so someone on the council uh, made a suggestion. You know, there's uh, there's an old joke that a pastor only works one day per week. And someone on the council suggested it may be helpful to let the congregation know what I actually do as a pastor. Uh, but there's not a general description, you know, anywhere uh, that says, oh, hey, here's what, you know, all pastors do. As we'll see when we're reading First and Second Timothy during this Advent season, the New Testament focuses more on the character of pastors and church leaders than on their job description. Uh, this is very typical of the New Testament. It's not very prescriptive as far as do this, do that, do the other thing. Uh, but here are a few scriptures that you know we can consider as a congregation and I, as, as a pastor. Uh, pastors and teachers are to equip God's people for every work of service. Ephesians 4, uh, Titus 1, I am to hold firm to the trustworthy word as taught so that I may be able to give instruction and sound doctrine and also to rebuke those who contradict it. 1 Peter 5, I am to be an example to the flock. Hebrews 13, I am to watch over your souls. 2 Timothy 2, I am to proclaim the word to be ready in season and out of season, to reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. And to paraphrase Paul, I have the daily pressure on me of my anxiety for all of God's people, 2 Corinthians 11. So over the coming, you know, I'm sending out videos, making these, uh, sending out emails. Uh, I'll talk about what I do as a pastor. A, a pastor lives in a glass house. Everyone is looking at me. And the expectations for pastors are quite high, and they're often contradictory. Yet I desire to improve and grow as a pastor, and more importantly, I want to partner with God's people in the gospel work of bringing God, bringing people into God's kingdom through Jesus' death and resurrection. I, I hope that you'll find this helpful in understanding my role in our church family. Uh, I was interviewed by a King of Glory, you know, before I became a pastor, before y'all called me. And what I said to them was, hey, you know, I just, I want you to know this. I work very hard. I'm very dedicated to my work, but I'm not a workaholic. I, I've seen way too many pastors. I've heard of too many pastors who sacrifice their health and their families on the altar of the church. I, I don't want to do that. So I try to balance all of the callings God has for me, pastor, pastor husband, father, neighbor, and so on. But to summarize what I do, you know, if you want just a brief explanation, I pretty much spend my entire week preparing for worship, preparing for Bible study, visiting people, and what I lovingly call administrivia. So in the next video, I'll go more in depth as far as how I prepare for the Sunday message. That is to bring God's people deeper into God's presence together. So thanks for listening. Thanks for your partnership in the gospel. Thanks for loving me. Thanks for loving my family. I am grateful to God for calling me as pastor here and for the opportunity God's given me to serve as pastor here at King of Glory. God's peace be with you.